All right, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna talk about the last press conference, which is Sony's, which was the longest and uh, had a lot, a lot of information, a lot of cool information. All right, so they opened with Destiny, showed some Destiny gameplay. We already know what Destiny looks like, and uh, no really big deal. However, which was a big deal, was the new PlayStation 4 announcement. It was a white PS4 Destiny bundle. It comes with a white PlayStation 4 and DualShock 4 controller. The Destiny, the full game Destiny, um, the physical copy too, and 30 months free for PlayStation Plus. So if you watch my my vlogs of us going there with me, me and Jacob, Jacob was saying that um, he was really, you know, he, he was going to get that bundle. And uh, I was talking with him a couple couple minutes ago, actually. And uh, he said that he was going to be able to get both an Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 Destiny bundle this summer. So that's pretty freaking awesome. And uh, he's really excited about getting that bundle. And uh, it's pretty cool. More and more friends to get on the next gen. So that's awesome. After that, they showed... Uh, some cool gameplay of The Order 1886. Um, really short gameplay, but it did reveal the enemies, what the enemies in the game are going to be like, their lichens, and it looked like zombies, they transform into this werewolf thing, but they can actually talk, and uh, apparently they're pretty frightening, and they're really dangerous, and uh, really, um, really powerful, so... Uh, pretty cool to see uh, more gameplay of The Order, it still looks really good. Um, they then showed Entwined, which is a cool little arcade indie game, which is actually became available yesterday, or the day before yesterday, whatever it was. So they did reveal that Entwined is now out. I am going to get it. I'm just waiting for the YouTube paycheck. So, really interested in seeing Entwined. Can you playing that? They revealed that Infamous Second Son is going to have a first light DLC. Pretty freaking awesome. And it's going to delve into the fetch character, and you don't even have to own the main game to to do that. So definitely going to be getting that DLC. They revealed Little Big Planet three, which I don't give a shit about. Sorry, I I played the first. I I got the first Little Big Planet because a guy at GameStop was like, "This game's amazing, dude. You're, there's so much you can do." And I, I so I I took a chance, right? And I got it. I played it twice, and I thought it was boring. I thought it was stupid. So I'm I I could care less about Little Big Planet 3. However, I, what I do think is pretty cool is that all the levels from from Little Big Planet 1 and 2 are actually going to be imported into 3 with a, a graphical upgrade. So that is pretty nice that they they uh, were able to do that. They then showed Project Beast, which is now called Bloodborne. And uh, it's not my type of game, but it is it is a pretty dark, um, gritty game, and a lot of people were really excited to see that. So Bloodborne. Far Cry 4. They showed actual gameplay of Far Cry 4, and it play. It looks like it looks. It looks like it plays extremely similar to Far Cry 3, with like a few variations. Like they added the ability to shoot while you drive, and you can um, now jump from vehicle to vehicle and and car jack, You know, I, I guess enemy vehicles or stuff. So that's actually pretty cool. They brought back the wingsuit as well from Far Cry 3. And um, there is an exclusive PlayStation option that is coming to Far Cry 4, which is the ability to invite your friends to the game without them even owning the game. So, I'm free. I, need, I need a drink. So apparently, and there was some more information released about this, it's not going to work in single player, it's only going to be for the multiplayer um, elements in the game, but apparently, in the multiplayer elements, um, I will be able to invite my friends. They're going to install something, or it's going to stream something through their console, whatever. And they're they are going to be able to join my game without even having to own the game. So that I think I think that is pretty freaking awesome. And it's exclusive to PlayStation as well. So that is a really interesting feature to to have. So they then revealed Dead Island 2, which I wasn't expecting. And again, I hated the first Dead Island. I thought it was the piece of shit, and I absolutely hated it. Um, I may try the second one. I think I will. I, I Okay, I'm going to try the second one. I don't know how it's going to be. If it's if it's exactly like the first game, then then screw it. But what I need, what they need from Dead Island is a great story and um, gameplay elements that make it fun to play uh, by yourself, single player. Because that game was like, co-op! And the story meant nothing. The graphics looked bad, 
and and the game just had these really really just frustrating game mechanics. I, I just did not like it at all. So Dead Island Two, whatever. More Battlefield Hardline. They talked about Battlefield Hardline. Yeah, Battlefield Hardline. We know about that game already. Uh, the new guys from Journey released a new uh, game. It's called I don't know if it's A B Z U or Abu. Uh, Abzu. I I really don't know, but it's it's A B Z U. Um, I have no idea what the game is. It's basically it's basically like you are some deep sea diver and you're exploring the the depths of the ocean. So it looks interesting. Probably I I probably will play it. No Man's Sky is finally coming to PS4. That is a big win and uh, pretty cool. So No Man's Sky for PS4. Project Morpheus. Talk about Project Morpheus for a bit. That's pretty pretty cool, I guess. Um, the YouTube sharing compatibility is now coming to the share the share button menu. So when I record like two minutes of gameplay footage, I can now upload it to your to my YouTube channel, which I think is pretty cool. So good good job with that. Um, they also announced the 25 new free to play games are going to be coming to uh, to the PlayStation uh, PlayStation 4 so that's pretty cool free to play and you do not need a PlayStation Plus subscription to play any free to play game on PS4 which is pretty sweet um, they also announced that PlayStation Now is going to be having going going to an open beta at the end of July I believe now I'm I'm in the beta right now the closed beta for both PS3 and PlayStation 4 so it's going to be open now to everyone on uh, uh, at the end of July or something like that so that's pretty cool I haven't really messed around with it yet, but it's just, I mean, it's just a streaming service, so whatever. Um, they also announced that PlayStation TV, which is, which was exclusively in Japan only, is now going to be coming to the U.S. and Canada, and uh, it's going to be $100, and it's going to allow you to, basically through um, remote play, you can stream games to your PS4 to a different TV in the house, so... My PS4 is in my bedroom right now. I can take the PlayStation TV and hook it up in my living room, and I can play games off of my uh, my living room TV and stuff. So I think that's pretty cool. I probably won't get one because I have no use for it, but it is a it is a cool thing to have. I know a lot. Of, it was it was extremely successful in Japan. So we'll see how it does uh, over here in the states. Mortal Kombat X gameplay or Mortal Kombat 10 gameplay. Um, pretty pretty cool. Um, it, it, the graphics looked good. Looks like a really solid Mortal Kombat. I liked Mortal Kombat 9 a lot. I thought it was pretty awesome. So, Mortal Kombat 10. There we go. They did show The Last of Us Remastered. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, some people are saying that it's not, it, there's really no difference. It is, it doesn't look like that dramatically different. Keep in mind that during this press conference, I was watching it on an IMAX screen in IMAX quality. And the and the at the luxury of having an IMAX theater surround sound system because I went to the E3 experience, so I got to see the detail and everything in its full, in, in its in its complete form. All right, it's much more sharper, and apparently the character models in game are going to look exactly the same as cutscenes. All right, but what they showed was just cutscenes. So, but it is coming to the PlayStation 4, The Last of Us Remastered, and um, there, it, it, there is a slight, it's a bit, sh it's just sharper, crisper. I didn't really notice so much detail, but seeing it on an IMAX screen, I was able to point some, some stuff out, so that's pretty cool. Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, no gameplay, just some trailer, which was weird, and uh, I wish I really saw more of the game, because I really loved uh, Ground Zeroes, I thought it was fantastic. So, that was my hard drive. Um, Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, just underwhelming trailer, I wish they showed more, but that's that. They also announced that Grand Theft Auto V is coming to PS4, Xbox One, and the PC, so everyone who wanted next-gen and PC port of Grand Theft Auto V is now getting one. It's going to be 1080p. Um, <clears throat> some people said, though, they couldn't tell a direct difference, like there wasn't that much of a difference. I saw a GIF showing the level comparison between, the, you know, the new Grand Theft Auto V from the trailer and then the, the, old, um, the old one on PS3. And there is a pretty, pretty big difference. Um, when, you, when you look at the mountains and stuff, uh, when they show the footage of, of, you know, Trevor, he's getting up after falling asleep somewhere out there in the woods, the original, the original, um, you know, mountain of where where he's sleeping on, it has no grass or no 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 uh, no 
you know, no, no grass or anything like that whatsoever. It's just some plain flat texture. And they actually model real, you know, I I individual uh, roots and, and, and grass and stuff like that on that hill. So it's a lot. There's some stuff like that that you're going to notice. Of course, it's going to be 1080p. Um, no word on the uh, frame rate yet. If it's going to be 60 frames or it's going to be 30 frames. The trailer itself looked like it was 30 frames. Um, we got to see The Last of Us remastered in 60 frames, though. So, so when they show that trailer, it wasn't 60 frames for us on a movie theater. Um, oh, geez, I just skipped over. No, open, open this document back up, please. All right. Um, then they showed Batman Arkham Knight gameplay, and it looks incredible. It looks like it looks just as good as what the pre-rendered trailers were, were showing or, or you know, the cinematic trailers or whatever. It looks really that good. So they did an excellent job with the graphics of that game. The, ra the way the rain just illuminates on his, on his um, you know, on, on his cape is just incredible. And it looks really, really awesome. Like the Batmobile gameplay looks freaking sweet. So it, seeing that gameplay really pushed me to pre-order the game. So I'm really looking forward to Batman Arkham Knight. And finally, they ended it by showing, of course, Uncharted 4, which is now called Uncharted 4 A Thieves' End, all right? And I'm really happy, not because, you know, that we saw the trailer, but because of the title and the whole theme of that trailer. Because I really, really would like and prefer Uncharted to end with Uncharted 4. And this series, you had three amazing games. Make a make a fourth amazing game, all right? So you can have four amazing games and just end the series like that. It doesn't need to continue on because they could be there could be more adventures, there could be more stories to tell. It doesn't need to continue on. It it's done. Let it be done. Let let Naughty Dog move on and do something else. You know. So um, Uncharted for a thieves, even the title, a thieves end. Nathan Drake is a thief. He's not he's not really a, a good guy, really. You know, he, he steals stuff and he plunders children and he kills people. So he he's a thief. Um and uh I really I just really like the whole and when you when you heard Sully was talking, you know, it's all about one last time, let's do this adventure, and he has like no choice. So let it end. Let this be a gritty, a new direction for the series, and just let it let it end completely. Uncharted doesn't need to have five, six, seven, eight, or nine games because it can, all right? Um, I, always, I always say this to people, would you rather have, pick any of your favorite game series and any game series that, that you just love, all right? Would you rather have 10 of those games, six of them are considered good and four of them are considered completely awful? Or would you rather have four games and all four games are considered great, amazing titles? What would you rather have? So and 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 it's just it just comes down to the the impact as well. I'm glad that we didn't see another Uncharted game in 2013. You know, I, I I'm glad that we I'm glad that we took a break off of it. You know, because now Uncharted 4 is going to hit that impact that it needs to hit. You know, it's not going to feel like oh great another Uncharted title. It's going to have that same impact. So Uncharted 4: A Thieves' End. Hopefully, it's the last game. I really do hope it's the last game, and it's going to go out with a bang. And I'm looking forward to it. Graphically speaking, it has been confirmed that that trailer was in-game footage. In-game footage, guys, captured on an actual PlayStation 4. I have never seen graphics so beautiful and so photorealistic in my life. Like, I, I saw that and my jaw hit the floor. I was like... And I saw it on an IMAX screen. IMAX quality, IMAX surround stuff. So I could see every freaking detail... And, and, you know, when they showed him, obviously, you know, he looks older. He used some um, <clears throat> tessellation on his face, of course, the new, the new technology. When he turns around, he walks, you know, into the forest, and the camera pans, pans to the right to show, you know, the people. When he walks into the forest, I was, I, my, my mind completely, you know, lost any sense of, um, of, uh, of you know, any sense of um, fantasy. You know, this is a game that, that obviously you can tell it's a game. I... It looked as if it was a real, real person walking off into the forest. Like my, my mind, my mind sort of switched into no, you're not watching gameplay. You're watching an actual movie with a real person in it. Like the graphics were, were literally that good, that that it it freaking it it, it, caught, it, caught, it freaking just 
well, what's the word? Um, fuck, I can't, I can't, I hate that when, I, when you're on something and you can't think of the word to describe it, but you guys get what I'm saying. The graphics were incredible, completely photorealistic, and when he walked, when he, when he turned around, I couldn't even tell that it was an actual person or an actual video game character. It looked like an actual person. So, graphically incredible. Um, we're going to have to see how the gameplay is. I hope it changes up. I hope it's, um, I hope they really pay attention to stealth. You know, I hope they take the stealth elements from The Last of Us, refine them a little bit, and put them in Uncharted. Because I really would like to see, stealth has, never, has been in Uncharted since Uncharted 2, really. But it hasn't really been developed and in, in, in integrated into, like, the full core experience. So I want, like, uh, an Uncharted game where, okay, you have the option, guns blazing or stealth, you know, I, I want that, so, that is, um, that is it for the Sony press conference, I'm looking, I'm, okay, I, I'm looking at, I, it's hard, because I really enjoyed the Microsoft press conference, and I thought Sony did great too, um, Again, what pissed me off about the Microsoft press conference is the fact that they didn't show Halo 5 gameplay, Quantic Break, or or anything. You know, it's like, where's Quantic Break? Or Quantum Break, Quantic Break. Where's Quantum Break? Where is Halo 5 Guardians? Why aren't we... These games are coming out next year, and you don't have even the two minutes of gameplay to show us? You know, it's like, I wanted to see gameplay of those games. And they didn't put gameplay of those games out. It was just... There was no mention of them. There was no mention of those games in, or gameplay at all. So I thought in that respect, Microsoft could have showed more, but they just decided not to, and I was really disappointed. Um, Sony, on, their, on, their, on the other hand, showed pretty much everything that we wanted to see. Um, you know, they, they had a lot of information. So I'm going to go ahead and say I thought Sony's press conference was the best, but I think Microsoft was close. If Microsoft showed more of, you know, Quantum Break and maybe some Halo 5, I knew that, I didn't expect them to show Gears of War. They, they don't need to show Gears of War, all right? Gears of War will be, like, next year or the year after, all right? But give it time. But I knew I knew that they need to, uh, but I just, I just felt like they should have showed those games. And if Microsoft showed those games, I may have, you know, really been like, oh, this is an amazing conference. But they didn't really show all those games. What did they show? Of all, they said a lot of third-party games and, uh, you know, a good few handful of exclusives, and that's, like, it. Yeah, that, that's, like, it. But, like, you know, where's Quantum Break? Where's Halo 5? Where where was the new IP? What what new IP on here? Hold on. Okay, Crackdown. Yeah, Crackdown. Okay, that, that's, uh, I guess, a new new IP, sort of. Halo Legends. Okay, so they had a few good announcements, but it's, like, you know, you... You expected to see those games that were delayed into 2015, that were originally coming out in 2014. You expected to see more footage of those. We haven't seen like a full unedited gameplay clip of Quantum Break yet. Why not? Is it going to be like Alan Wake where, oh, we announced it in 2006 and it doesn't come out till 2010? You know, I, I, is it going to be like one of those games again? I really just don't know, but... I thought I thought Sony did, did the best, however, I think Microsoft was close. Um, I just wish that they would have showed more of those games that, you know, we wanted to see and that are in development and that they could have shown, you know? So, the order in which the conferences, I think, were the best. Sony, Microsoft, Ubisoft, and EA, all right? I don't care that EA showed a little bit of Mirror's Edge and a little bit of Battlefront. The conference was boring, and, and it was. And they only had, like, two, two... The only games that they're really excited is uh, from, from them, Mirror's Edge... Battlefront and what? Mass Mass Effect. I didn't really show much Mass Effect either. So, all right, those are my thoughts, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go play games and do other stuff. So, and and rest my voice. Those are those are my thoughts. Mirror's Edge vlog is coming. Don't worry. I just gotta think of something. All right. Uh, I wanna talk. I will talk about it. Don't worry. All right. I'm going.